It's not simple to decide to reduce your intake of added sugar. After all, it can be found in a wide variety of meals and drinks, even those that are promoted as being healthy. Even though sugar isn't regarded as a particularly healthy diet, a little sweetness is okay. The U.S. Department of Agriculture advises consuming no more than 10% of your daily calories from added sugars. The American Heart Association advises against consuming more added sugar than 6 teaspoons, 100 calories, for women and 9 teaspoons, 150 calories, for men. It's crucial to remember that these suggestions do not include naturally occurring sugars found in complete foods like fruit or milk. Your body takes longer to metabolize the sugars in whole foods and to digest them. Your body can't handle them quickly enough or absorbs them more quickly when there are extra sugars. During the production and preparation of food and beverages, these sugars are utilized to sweeten them. Think of soda, juice, or a sweetener to your morning coffee. Your health can be harmed by eating too much sugar, whether it is added or natural. However, consuming an excessive amount of added sugar can increase your chance of developing diabetes, obesity, heart disease, liver disease, and other illnesses. You can lose weight and more by reducing the amount of added sugar you consume. Here are five advantages of giving up sugar. 1. Regulates your blood sugar. Your pancreas secretes the hormone insulin so that your body can digest blood sugar. Consider insulin as a key that unlocks the door for the sugar to enter your cells. But the pancreas produces a lot of insulin to try and keep up when a lot of sugar is absorbed at once. You can develop insulin resistance, which occurs when your cells progressively stop responding to insulin and blood sugar levels rise, if this occurs frequently enough. Insulin resistance can eventually result in prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. Numerous studies have revealed an elevated risk of type 2 diabetes in those who often drink sugar-sweetened beverages. A healthy diet, regular exercise, and a reduced added sugar intake can all help to increase insulin sensitivity. Your cells require less insulin to absorb blood sugar when they are more sensitive to it. Your blood sugar levels can be regulated as a result, lowering your chance of developing diabetes. 2. Helps to maintain weight. Consuming additional sugar won't likely make you gain weight as long as you keep below the daily recommendations. However, numerous studies demonstrate that added sugar-rich diets are linked to obesity and being overweight. Diets with a lot of added sugar in particular are associated with abdominal obesity. Your abdominal organs are encircled by belly fat, also referred to as visceral fat. Chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease are associated with it. Limiting sugar-sweetened foods and beverages is best for your long-term health. Make sure to choose foods like sparkling water, fruits, and veggies that don't have any added sugar. You can regulate your weight and lose abdominal fat by doing this. 3. Decreases your risk for liver disease. According to studies, excessive consumption of added sugar is associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This particular form of liver disease has nothing to do with drinking, exposure to heavy metals, or viral infections. Your liver's function is to break down the additional sugar fructose. However, extra fructose that enters the liver and is converted to fat, especially from sweetened beverages, is harmful. The eventual result of having too much fat deposited in the liver is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. However, lowering your intake of added sugar can assist in lowering your risk for liver disease. 4. Improves heart health. Both an indirect and direct link exists between added sugars and heart disease. Triglycerides, a kind of blood fat, are related with high levels in diets where added sugars account for more than 20% of total calories. Your risk of heart disease may increase if your triglycerides are elevated. In one study, daily added sugar consumption was compared to the risk of heart disease in more than 11,000 individuals over a period of 15 years. Compared to participants who consumed less than 10% of their daily calories from added sugar, those who consumed 25% or more of their calories from sugar had a more than twofold increased risk of dying from heart disease. Regardless of age, sex, race or ethnicity, or level of physical activity, it was discovered that this was likely. 
Reducing your intake of added sugar can help keep your blood pressure, cholesterol, and triglycerides at healthy levels even if you are already a healthy weight. Additionally, it can lower your risk of developing heart disease. 5. Lowers your risk of depression. Our diet may have an impact on how our brains work, which in turn may affect how we feel. For instance, a lower incidence of depressive symptoms is linked to consuming healthy diets that prioritize fish, whole grains, nuts, and fresh fruits and vegetables. Sugary drinks may also increase your risk of developing depression and depressed symptoms, according to numerous research. This may be due to the fact that eating too much sugar can become addicted since it causes your brain to release endorphins and dopamine, which are feel-good hormones. This may affect your mood over time. Other research, however, has not connected sugar consumption to the likelihood of depression. To better understand how sugar can impact your mood, more research is required. Among other health advantages, cutting back on sugar may help you maintain a healthy weight, lower your chance of depression, and lower your risk of heart disease. The good news is that you don't have to fully give up sugar. Each day, a small amount of additional sugar is okay. If you have a specific blood sugar-related medical condition or are at risk of developing one, talk to your healthcare practitioner about how to limit your sugar intake. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.